I think it's very important to be here because it's a symbol for Versailles. Versailles was the symbol, is the symbol of French culture and it's very important for us to be so far away from Versailles to show it here in Australia. And I think today uh, Versailles stays, remains uh, the symbol for French culture, European culture, but much more than that, it's universal. And it is not uh, the way to show Versailles in Canberra, but to show the link between our two countries, Australia and France, and to show that uh, um, Versailles is still living in the 21st century. It's difficult to say, but probably the most emblematic, as you said, uh, is Laton, this big sculpture, which is the symbol of the gardens in Versailles. And it is not only because of the uh, uh, weight, one ton and a half, but it's the first time uh, she travels to, to she travels abroad, she travels so far away from the gardens of Versailles. And I think it's not only the symbol of the power, of the king's power, but also the symbol for culture, arts, during the 18th century, which are still the roots for the culture today. Yes, I think this exhibition evocates the life at the court, and it evocates much more than, life, than that. Uh, what we call French art de vivre, uh, grand style, and it's, uh, I think it's still living for us, uh, like an example, uh, like an example for the de designers, like an example for fashion, for cooking, for music, for fountains. You can find everything at Versailles. No, I think it's to show the link between our two countries first and it's uh, we can show that uh, uh, like uh, Louis XIV wanted uh, symbol as I said remains uh, Versailles remains this symbol for culture today for, ev for everybody in the world everybody knows what is Versailles and if we come to Canberra it is also to say to Australian people you must come again to France and to visit the real Versailles and I think this exhibition gives you the desire to come to Versailles to see what it is. Here it's a sort of echo of what it is really and after that you can come and visit us. I think it's, it gives a, a good idea of uh, creativity, innovation in every subject in this time and uh, the king wanted to have the best creators of the world and uh, it's, it's always the same. Uh, Versailles remains this uh, uh, source for the creation today. It's, it's difficult to, to make a choice, but I think this show is done by the museum with the team of uh, the National Gallery of Camera is uh, perfect and exceptional to show what it is when you are at Versailles. And I think if you go through this exhibition, you will understand what is Versailles. And I think it's the uh, most important thing that we have to say. I think Chateau de Versailles today um, cross, crosses many times. We used to say, as Victor Hugo wrote, that Versailles is the book of French history. And we have given to Australia a part of a book, a part of our book with all these masterpieces and I think it's the point that, that to show that Versailles uh, is not only present in the 18th century but continues after and continues till today. Difficult to say, I think the sculpture of Latin, as I said, is very important but I think very small pieces like the lacquer objects from the collection of the Queen Marie Antoinette are very important too because they show also what, what was Versailles, also the intimacy of the Queen and at the same time you have the power with Latin and then we have the intimacy of a Queen in Trianon with her fans, with her uh, furniture, with her uh, um, little boxes which was very important for her this collection because this collection uh, uh, was a souvenir of her mother and you can tell a story uh, starting with a little object 
to, to tell the big history of France.